Fruit trees thrive when they're planted in soils that are well drained. If you want to kill one, plant it in the soil that's too slow to drain and very wet. If you're not sure, the first thing you should do is conduct a soil drainage test. Now, the way you conduct a soil drainage test is to dig a hole 16 inches deep, fill it with water, let that water drain out, then fill it a second time with water and then time that. Now, I grew up in Saginaw, Michigan, and if I were to do that the second time, especially in the spring, the water may sit there for days. But if I um, do it down here in my sandy soil, which is on the north side of my property, that water will be out of there probably within an hour or two hours, tops. And that would be considered a well-drained soil. Now, over here on this side of my property, and there's a, a, a raised bed right behind you, this soil tends to be a little wet in the spring. As a matter of fact, when I walk across this property where my pear trees are, it's very squishy. You, you just hear squish, squish, squish as you walk. And if you were to plant cherries or nectarines or peaches into these soils, they will not make it. They just don't like those wet roots. But the pears are doing just fine. Now I have apples in the orchard behind me and on the south side of the property, it's a little higher and it slopes down to the north. The trees to the north aren't doing as well as the trees to the south. And you can see that in one of my other orchard walk videos and I talk a little bit more about that. So let's say for instance that you still want to plant fruit trees and you don't have any place to put them except in a wet area. What can you do? Well, uh, one of the things you can do is plant plants above grade, which means you put them on a berm at least six inches high when the soil settles down and that will be helpful now what i've done and you can see here in the background i've made a raised bed and that is 12 inches high so i've doubled what i need to have in order to have decent drainage and we'll see how this tree does now uh, one of the things that you have to remember when you put something in a raised bed is that it will dry out faster than the surrounding soil so i'm going to need to add irrigation and if you look at this tree it needs a little bit of water and I was just pulling some weeds out of the bed and the bed's quite dry. So uh, if you don't remember water and you don't have an irrigation system, you may want to get some of those bags that you put on new, newly planted trees and you fill them with water and then you don't have to worry about it for a couple of weeks. Um, you can pick them up online or sometimes we'll have them at your local garden center, but uh, that's the way to go. Now, one of the things that I'm gonna do here um, and what I did with this particular bed is I filled it with a 50% compost, 50% topsoil mixture, which I received from a local uh, landscape supply company. And uh, this tree was planted probably back in July, maybe even late June. So it's, it's just hanging on right now. Uh, it's probably more like July. And um, <clears throat> the next one I plant, which I have another bed to make back there, is uh, going to be the same mixture of soil but I've been making some worm compost for a number of years and I have quite a bit. And in the hole, I'm gonna put worm compost to see if that tree does any better. So stay tuned and over time, I will show you how I train the trees and various problems that they may have. Um, also, you may notice in this bed that there is um, watermelons growing. And uh, I just didn't wanna waste the space. So I put some watermelons in each corner and the problem that I had is I had a, a woodchuck that came in and started eating the watermelons. But luckily he didn't eat them all. And uh, I now have a couple of watermelons on there that I may get. So I didn't waste that space. But while the tree is still small and it's not shading anything, you can put uh, greens or various other vegetables there. Now they will compete somewhat for the nutrients uh, that the tree would normally get as it gets larger. But when it's small like this, it won't present a problem. So that's what I have for you today, and I hope you enjoy it. Bye.